woman stands in front of her entire church to explain how God has changed her life, but nearly dies while telling her story. News Channel Line's Catherine Marchand tells us how her testimony of tough times ended with the biggest challenge she's had to face yet. Chastity Watts got off a Greyhound bus in Chattanooga three and a half years ago with nothing. She was homeless, pregnant, and addicted to alcohol. She says the support of a new husband, the people of Abba's house, and the love of God helped her overcome it all. But just as she found her voice and began sharing her journey at Sunday service, a sudden stroke left her barely able to speak. I'm really excited to share everything that God has done in my life. On stage in front of 1,500 people, Chastity Watts was clearly nervous. But telling her life story, she didn't hold anything back. I just, um, I was at a place in my life where I just wanted to die. I wanted to commit suicide. However, as she was pouring out her heart, her body was attacking her brain. Okay. My head is pounding. She suffered a massive brain bleed while giving her testimony. At the end, you can see her stumbling into the arms of her friend, Teresa Biggs. At that point, she literally dropped the mic, and I just put my arms around her to kind of steady her because her knees were buckling. Teresa thought Chastity was just anxious about speaking, but when she got to the hospital, doctors told her Chastity had had a stroke. He said, she's going to die. Those were his words. Chastity just remarried two months ago, sharing how her church turned her life around was the last thing she planned to do before moving to Nevada with her new husband, Jimmy. He was already in Reno when a surgeon called him for permission to operate on her brain. I didn't think she was going to make it and, and be here. So I just at least wanted to hold her hand and tell her how much I love her. Chastity survived her first surgery, but Jimmy and Teresa say doctors were not hopeful. So they prayed. She just kept miracle after miracle, improvement after improvement, and the doctors couldn't believe it. She's made tremendous progress. Still, she has a long way to go. Take a bite with the spoon. There you go. Jimmy's been told not to get his hopes up, that his wife may never fully recover. I'm trying to put the fear aside. No matter what the outcome is with her, I will be by her side, no matter what. Chastity's family and friends say their faith in God has only grown stronger. That's not the last time she will stand on that stage. She's going to tell the rest of her story. Catherine Marchand, News Channel 9. Once Chastity is released from the hospital, she will require full-time nursing and rehab. Since she and her husband can't work right now, friends started a GoFundMe page to raise money for living and medical expenses. And you can find the link on our website, newschannel9.com. What an amazing story. Oh, no. Still to come.